Are you tired of spending a fortune on skincare products that promise to give you clear, glowing skin, only to be disappointed later? Well, what if we told you that the secret to healthy, radiant skin is already sitting in your backyard? That's right, we're talking about the aloe vera plant. In this video, we're going to share with you why you should use aloe vera daily and how this miraculous plant can transform your skin. From being dull to healthy, moisturized, and glowing, so get ready to discover the amazing benefits of aloe vera for your skin. Number 1. Aloe vera may be a great skin moisturizer. A humectant is a compound that has the ability to absorb water and hold it for as long as it can. Aloe vera is also a humectant and is well known to be one of the best natural moisturizers out there. Another great thing about aloe vera gel is that it does not offer a greasy touch as many skin moisturizers do. There's one tiny problem though, you shouldn't apply too much of it on your skin directly. Being a humectant, it can also absorb water from your skin if applied too much and for too long. But don't worry, we do have a solution for that. So stick with us till the end. For men who like to shave, aloe vera gel can be a great natural aftershave moisturizer because it helps seal the cuts and bruises during the shave and keep the skin moisturized. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. It helps soothe sunburn. Aloe vera has a great soothing and cooling effect on the skin. When applied to the skin, aloe vera forms a protective layer that helps to trap moisture. This helps keep the skin hydrated and prevent it from becoming dry and flaky, which otherwise could aggravate the symptoms of sunburn. Many sunburn creams contain aloe vera as a major ingredient. It's mainly because it contains a compound known as aloin, which has been found very effective in repairing skin and protecting it against sunburns, especially from harmful ultraviolet light. To use aloe vera to soothe sunburns, simply apply a generous amount of aloe vera gel or juice to the affected area. For added benefits, you can also mix aloe vera gel with other natural ingredients, such as coconut oil, or lavender essential oil. Number 3. Aloe vera has awesome anti-aging properties. Do you know that aloe vera gel has roughly 95% water? But it's not all water and is a great source of powerful antioxidants such as vitamin A, vitamin E, and vitamin C. These nutrients have the ability to speed up collagen production and fight against free radical damage to the skin, especially due to harmful UV sun rays. Not only this, but aloe vera can also be a great natural remedy against blemishes and hyperpigmentation. Number 4. It can speed up wound healing. Whenever we accidentally get a cut on our skin, the white blood cells rush to the place of the accident to prevent germs from infecting our bodies. In the next stage, our body starts making collagen to make soft tissues and skin to cover the wound. And do you know that aloin has been shown to increase the production of collagen by up to 90%? That's right, and that's how it can potentially speed up the healing process. Additionally, aloe vera is also a humectant, which means it tends to absorb water from the surroundings, which makes wound healing even more speedy. Lastly, aloe vera's amazing antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties also tend to reduce inflammation in the wound. Number 5. Aloe vera may be very effective against skin burns. For minor burns, like if you accidentally burn your hands by cigarette butt or hot oil splash, applying aloe vera can be a great and effective home remedy. Applying aloe vera gel on the skin gives a cooling sensation because it has the ability to trap water in itself, and certain compounds in aloe vera can speed up the healing process. Both these things are great for not only sunburns, but also for minor first and second degree burns. Just FYI, a first degree burn is when you accidentally burn yourself, but there are no blisters or redness, while a second degree burn is when there is minor redness or blistering around the burn part. But remember that aloe vera can be effective only when the burns are not too severe, or the burn area is not too large. In that case, it's best to avoid putting aloe vera especially if the blisters get popped, or there is too much redness. In either case, getting prompt medical attention is much more important than just applying aloe vera to the burned area. 
Number 6. It can also help against acne breakouts. It's often hard to get the perfect skin moisturizer that works perfectly well against acne. Everyone's skin has a different nature, and every skin responds differently to different moisturizers. One skin product that works well for someone may not necessarily be good for you too. But luckily, aloe vera has been found to work perfectly well for most types of skin. It helps your skin fight against infections that might be causing acne, helps reduce inflammation and blemishes due to acne breakouts, and helps heal the skin by speeding up the process of collagen production. Even better, unlike many typical skin moisturizers, it doesn't cause your skin pores to clog. As a bonus, aloe vera is also known to be a mild astringent, which means it can even help unclog your skin pores and helps remove dirt and other harmful particles from them. Now let's see how to use aloe vera as a moisturizer. Most of the aloe vera gels commercially available are usually transparent and viscous, which is good and very close to being 100% natural aloe vera. First, you should completely wash and cleanse your skin with good quality soap or mouthwash. Then, apply a good skin toner if you have one. If not, still that's fine. After that, you can apply your usual essence and serums for your skin's health. Good quality essence and serums generally have lots of healthy bioactive compounds that help nourish your skin and can help against untimely skin aging, wrinkles, dark spots, or uneven skin tone. Now here comes the best part, applying the aloe vera gel. The reason for applying it in the end is that this gel helps lock everything below it, whether the skin toner, the essence, or the serums. This way, you can ensure that your skin toner or essence does not get evaporated or polluted by the surrounding environment and that the skin gets enough of the nutrients present in them. So when you apply aloe vera gel this way, it tends to draw water from the surroundings and keeps it preserved for a long time, keeping the skin hydrated. Remember that applying aloe vera gel should be the last step in your skin treatment process except if you have to put on sunscreen. In that case, first apply the aloe vera gel, wait for a couple of minutes, and then apply a thin layer of sunscreen as you usually do. Aloe vera can also act as a good base for your makeover. Typical makeover bases are oily in nature, due to which they can cause the makeup to smudge, especially in hot weather or in sunlight exposure. Aloe vera is not inherently oily and helps settle the makeup on your face properly and perfectly. And by the way, if you feel that your skin is oily and more prone to acne breakouts, applying aloe vera gel can help create more collagen to heal your skin and unclog your skin pores. Not only this, but if you have dry skin, you can put on your skin a good essential oil and then apply aloe vera-based moisturizing lotion or aloe vera gel. Being a natural plant-based product, aloe vera has usually no side effects, although chances of being allergic to aloe vera do exist, but they are very low. You can simply check that by applying aloe vera gel on a small patch of your skin and see how your skin responds to it. If you observe anything unusual like itching or a burning sensation, then your skin might be allergic to it. Otherwise, you can use aloe vera daily and enjoy the amazing benefits of aloe vera gel on your skin. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.